Tata Consultancy Services uh, is a global company. It's part of the Tata family. Uh, TCS, uh, as we call Tata Consultancy Services, is a, a six billion dollar company and amongst the top ten uh, in the world. Uh, we have been present in Ireland uh, for more than a decade now and uh, we work with uh, some very valuable customers, uh, some of whom uh, we heard today talking about uh, the kind of services that we provide and offer them. TCS, as I said, have been, uh, we have been present in this country for, for some time. Uh, we believe strongly that we can add value to the enterprise and the companies in Ireland and uh, we want to uh, bring out examples of how our customers have benefited from a service and how TCS is adding value to uh, the corporations in Ireland to make them more competitive. So the whole idea is to, uh, to go out there and work with our customers and bring our customers together to share our experience on what benefits our customers are enjoying out of our relationship with TCS. Um, well, I suppose we started working with Tata about four years ago on what was a ginormous project in the life of Delta Index. It was the trading platform that we is the core to our business. Uh, we needed to engage with a partner that would help us, if you like, build that, that where we didn't have the capacity ourselves. And we found Tata, a company that shared our values, was um, key to the, to the success. From the outset, Tata wanted the business from us, made us feel that we were loved, which is what we were looking for, uh, and basically addressed the fear that we had at the time, which was that we were a small company working with a, a large, ginormous multinational. And what they did is they connected us with, the, with a team in a remote site in India, uh, well, relatively remote by Tata standards, in, in Ahmedabad. And so we were actually a client of the Ahmedabad site as opposed to Tata, the, the, the larger company, if you like, that's how it felt. And in the case of Ahmedabad, we were a significant customer and that, that really worked. I recommend it very strongly. It's not a matter of just choosing the partner and throwing the work over the wall. Once you choose the partner, you've really only started and you must work on it every day in clarifying requirements, in monitoring how the work is being delivered, in overcoming problems together because, for instance, in many cases in India, they won't have a test environment. They will remotely link into a European test environment such as we have in Atlon. But you must make sure a test environment is there when they want it, has the configuration you want, and if there's a problem with it, you must have somebody there to fix it so you can use their time effectively. One of the points I made in the presentation there was that it will only work if both parties embrace it fully and make it work. So it's as important that Ericsson play their part as TCS playing their part. But TCS, when you work with them and work towards a common goal, are extremely good. How can then Ireland uh, compete and collaborate is by using Ireland's innovative positioning in the marketplace. Clearly, Ireland is seen as an innovative country, um, has a lot of design capabilities and design knowledge. So, country needs to see as to how you move towards a design-oriented, innovation-oriented uh, country where product designs are coming out. And the products could be manufactured anywhere, the products could be developed somewhere else, but then the, when, once a product becomes compelling, and has developed a worldwide market, that's going to generate a lot of jobs uh, in Ireland. 